music down. Yeah, we literally just made it to our Airbnb. Ewan and I are in Sydney for the weekend. We're here for knockout. Woo. Oh my god, this morning has been the most tiring morning. We had our flight at 6am this morning, 6.20am uh, from Melbourne. So me and Ewan are literally on like two hours sleep. What's happened this morning was that our Airbnb wasn't ready for us to do an early checkout. I mean check-in. So I had to ask one of my girlfriends who is living in Sydney right now if we could kind of crash at her place for a few hours while um, they were getting this Airbnb ready. Thank you Val if you're watching. Love you. Freaking thank god that Valerie let us stay over otherwise we just would have been so tired right after the flight and having nowhere to go. We've just settled in. We're just going to freshen up and then go have lunch. We've already had breakfast at this um, brunch kind of place that I'll insert the video here. Oh my god. <gasps> what breed is it? Oh my god. And then we're probably gonna go for ramen now and we're gonna buy some last-minute things like for knockout and also Like some groceries just to have around like especially at night when we get back from going out so Tired actually, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna do a little Airbnb tour. Oh, by the way, this isn't the most like fancy Airbnb, but it's enough for just two girls, you know this is what you see as soon as you walk in. There's a little kitchen net area. So honestly, we're not gonna be doing any cooking. <laughs> Let's be real. This here is a toilet that Yuan is currently in. Then we've got a couch area here. And then what I really love is this massive full length mirror. Perfect for like OATDs. And then we've got like a dining table area here. There's TV. Um, and I love this green, like leafy wall. This would be really nice to take selfies with, just to have that kind of leafy background. And then when you turn to the left, there's a kind of double sized bed. So yeah, really simple. Um, and then a little balcony area. take a lot of photos out here too if you're wondering why I sound really different it's because Dom made me sick he got back from Thailand recently and he had the flu and he's freaking giving it to me so if I sound a little bit weird that's that's probably why Ewan's out of the toilet Ewan say hi my little rape buddy <laughs> What was that? Out that out, please. What was that? <laughs> Cheeky little kiss. <laughs> so while I was having a nap at Valerie's, this post was uploaded onto Subtle Asian <laughs> Dating. So this is the post that me and Tao made. <laughs> literally done some of the comments are actually so funny okay so we are at what's this place called Fratelli's um, just on Pitt Street and we're just having some Aperol spritz drinks because it's happy hour and it's only five dollars <laughs> You look so good, wow. Look at that skin though. What are we gonna do now, Ewan? Get our heads up. Yeah? Look sexy. 
do our makeup and break boys' hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break hearts. <laughs> Just getting our hair done. You're in. <laughs> so yeah, we just randomly walked past this hair salon and decided to get a blow wave done. So me and Yuan just got back from the hairdressers and just from running a few errands in the city. And we went to this hairdresser. What was it called, Yuan? Was it Ripper? Rip Kip Kippo? Kippo, yeah. And they did a really good job. Um, they did a really nice like head massage while they were washing our hair. And they just did a really good job at doing like real like soft waves. So we're just gonna get ready now, do our makeup, and then head out again tonight to Sanctuary Hotel. <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go to Sanctuary Hotel, have some drinks there because the Long Islands there are only $10. And then we'll see where the rest of the night takes us. True? Marky! Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no clubbing and no karaoke. Like, or no may karaoke maybe karaoke. Now. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, and we also bought some drinks just to do some pre's before knockout. And like before tonight as well, maybe. So we just got a few bottles of soju. It was like three for thirty-nine dollars, and then we got three bottles of wine, which was three for fifteen. So yeah, pretty cheap. So we're just getting ready for tonight. I'm using the touch of water cream as a moisturizer. Yuan, what are you up to? Um, bacon. Are you serious already? I told you I'm quick. <laughs> oh my god, slow down. <laughs> I want some cooking more time as well. <laughs> I'm only just put on moisturizer. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Baby, how you doing? I'm trying to see if I'm trying to see if I'm trying to Yeah, this is a born this way. <laughs> This is a Born This Way um, sculpt and conceal. It's honestly the best. I'm using the Real Technique Contour Sponge. Okay, so three hours later. <laughs> We're finally ready. Well, me, because I took freaking ages and you wouldn't finish like half an hour earlier than me. Look at this beat though. And we just finished taking photos outside on the balcony. And now we're just drinking a little bit of soju before we get our night started. <laughs> Gonna go to Korean barbecue for dinner tonight and then head to Sanctuary, which is like. I wanna pick um, up an LB. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> it's honestly like such a spontaneous night. Like, we haven't officially planned anything. We're just like, whatever, like going with the flow. Because, yeah, spontaneous plans always happen to be the most fun. So, we just made it to dinner. We were supposed to go to Medang, but we went to the restaurant. Wrong, right, restaurant. <laughs> So we just got the kimchi stew. Okay, so uh, it's the next morning. Um, today is Saturday. Right now, I think it's currently. Let me check my phone. <laughs> so it's 11:56 a.m. right now and 
Yeah, last night was a really heavy night. Me and Yuen ended up just getting ready and heading out to um, like Korean barbecue. And we ended up going to the like wrong restaurant. We were supposed to go to something called Medea. And we just happened to meet like a few Sydney people. And they were super lovely. They like shouted us a few bottles of soju, which is cool. And we were playing like this really cool drinking game. Uh, so that was fun and then we headed to Sanctuary. It's kind of like a, a bar that a lot of people go to I think um, in the city and that was like really fun. They do like $10 Long Islands. <sighs> Look a little bit crazy right now. Anyways, we were just there for like a while, like a few hours. Met up with some other friends there from Melbourne and then we decided to go to karaoke which is where we all died. <laughs> yeah, we went to K Square, K2, um, in the city, and that was really fun. It was just like everyone's so nice that we met last night. Like, they welcomed us into their room, um, like, gave us drinks. Uh, me and Ewan left around 3 a.m. We were both pretty lit, but we wake up not feeling too bad actually. Like, Ewan uh, woke up pretty early. Um, and went to get like some noodles and some Powerade for us. Shoot, guys. So those are our noodles that we finished already. And honestly, these noodles are so nice because we got this last time when we went to Sydney and they've got actual like chunks of kimchi in there. It's like Korean noodle, I think. We also drank some trusty hydro light last night before sleeping and it really helps in terms of like recovery like you don't feel yeah you don't feel as tired uh, when you wake up the next morning if you have um, a little bit of the hydro light but um yeah what the plan for today is we're just gonna get ready do some pre's because we've still got some a lot of alcohol left actually so we're gonna uh, take some photos and then we've got to pack all of our stuff because we got to check out at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning and our Airbnb host, he's like, he was pretty mean, like he didn't let us do a late checkout um, because we're flying back to Melbourne at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I also just sprayed my shoes because these are the shoes that I'll be wearing to knock out. I was looking for that style of Nike Air Maxes everywhere and they didn't have them at Platypus, well the, the Platypus is that I went to, but I went to Hype. To, just to check if they had any and then I bumped into Dawn who was working and she hooked me up with those like I didn't even know that they had kid sizes so thank you so much Dawn if you ever see this I just sprayed it with this it's called crep I think you can get it at platypus but it's basically like this spray you spray onto your shoes and it helps it to not get like dirty and stuff um, so you spray it um, leave it for like half an hour and then do another spray and then your sh sneakers should be G for the rave or like wherever you're going to wear it to. Ewan just got back from oh doing groceries. <laughs> oh my gosh, she got bubble tea! <laughs> Thank you all. Um, so Ewan just bought us some... Um, okay, let's move that deck. Keep <laughs> <laughs> <Super> it wholesome! <laughs> <laughs> so Ewan just got us some um, cocoa. What did you get for me? Mango green tea with yeah, large jelly. Yummy. Cocoa over char slime. You reckon? I actually have never tried cocos. The Ooh. They have sago. That's so cool. Okay. Let's do a taste. I just brushed my teeth, so this is probably going to taste a little bit weird, but whatever. Oh, it's cold. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's good. I can't believe I have saga. That's sick. Mmm. Mmm. How good is that? Wow, I really like that. Damn, that saga is so good. Show you guys. The makeup station that I've kind of set up over here. So this is the makeup that I'll be using. Astralis sent me this palette, so I'm, I'm going to be using that today. 
um, and also they gave me some jewels that I'll probably like cut up and use um, but I'm gonna do more of a purple kind of eyeshadow look today I've been using maybe like this this is like one of my favorite shadows um, single shadows from urban it's called tonic and it's like this like blue like purpley right let me open it it's kind of like this purpley single shadow but it's got a blue like sheen through it like a blue shimmer and then I'll probably do a little bit of this Colourpop purple shadow too. You and how was last night? It was wholesome, <laughs> wholesome. as fuck. <laughs> I literally woke up with like no regrets. No regrets. Yeah. Every time I go to Sydney and I wake up, there's always a regret. That's, but last night there were no regrets. That's literally when you know you've had a good night. Yeah. So Ewan's doing a pink makeup look today. She's gonna try something new because she's never done. Eyeshadow before. <laughs> we'll do the same makeup look every time. Yeah. <laughs> Brown smoky. Yeah. <laughs> Weather is so nice today. I think it's, do you know how much it is? Like 30? 20 something? 28? 20 something. Yeah, it's like not. 27. 27. Yeah, so it's not too hot, not too cold. It's like perfect weather for a freaking rave. Yeah, it's so good because every time I go to Sydney, it's just been like perfect weather for us. Just putting on the Tatcha water cream. This one's pretty much been my favorite for the past few months. It's just really nice and lightweight, but um, still gives you that like hydration. And it's good underneath makeup. So I've just done my bake, and now I'm gonna start with eyes. I'm just gonna use this purple color, this one here, from the um, Huda Beauty palette. This is the um, desert dust palette. So just that matte purple shade. But... Probably should have cleaned my brush first. Lashes actually make such a big difference. Yeah, I love Damn. Yeah. So we've just finished getting ready with all our makeup and we took a few some photos um, in our apartment. But now we're just grabbing a quick bite to eat before we head to knockout. And we're just at a random like Malaysian and Thai restaurant, like literally a 10 second walk from our <laughs> apartment. And I got the chicken and corn soup because I wasn't feeling like eating food. And Ewan got a Chinese chicken rice. Yeah, a rice dish. But yeah, so we're just gonna eat here um, until like for a little bit, and then go back, take more photos, <laughs> and then leave at around four to knock out. Feeling pretty tired to be honest, but I know when I get there, I'm gonna be really excited. I'm just going to do a quick kind of zoom up on my makeup. So yeah, I use that Urban Decay single eyeshadow in the inner corners. Um, Beauty Beauty purple colour and then the um, Astralis purple as well. And this is an Astralis Gems um, that I stick on with a little bit of um, eyelash glue. going to show you guys the outfit I'm wearing to knock out. This set here is from Tiger Miss. It's kind of like a grey, like active wear, um, really nice and stretchy, comfortable material. So it comes with the top and the shorts. And then this bum bag is from like this Korean store at Melbourne Central in the bottom level. This necklace is from Topshop. It's kind of like a silver like chain choker. And then... We've got the sneakers, which are from Hype. These are the new Air Maxes that they launched. And they come in like black and khaki as well. But yeah, so that's the outfit. I'm 
checking out of our Airbnb. This is a Sunday now. It's currently 11.35 a.m. and last night was just freaking incredible. It was like one of the best raves we've ever been to. Checking out now, we're gonna leave our luggage at the storage unit that the Airbnb host has and then we're probably gonna go eat and meet up with a Sydney friend for dinner. This was such a wholesome trip. It was actually so wholesome. I've never had a trip with like no regrets. <laughs> exactly. Everything was just like happened perfectly. Like yeah. there was nothing bad happened on this trip. So we just went to this random Chinese restaurant along, what's this? Dick Dixon along Street. Dixon Street. My favorite strip in Sydney. <laughs> um, and I got the wonton noodle soup because recovery, you feel. And Yuen, what did you get? I got rice. Yeah. Stuff. Yummy! I'm so hungry. I know we're starving. We haven't eaten since like it's all kind of yeah lunch lunch time yesterday basically. <laughs> Yuen's dish just came out and it looks fucking good. Oh, so bomb! We are malnourished, <laughs> but and we we deserve this. <laughs> yeah. So we're just walking to the Chinese Garden. What's it called? Garden of Friendship. Yeah. Um, which Celebrating is right there. Our friendship. Yeah, celebrating <laughs> our friendship during this awesome. trip. Yeah, so wholesome walking there with a bag of alcohol. Every other word is a home. Yeah, okay. Could it be the truth? Or at the crib with another lady. If you took it there, first of all, let me say. like it's like really really big and the koi fish was like eating my fingers which was weird and it had really soft lips <laughs> like softer than mine I heard you good with them soft lips <laughs> uh, we don't have anything like in this in Melbourne we just have like the what's the botanical gardens yeah but they don't even have like fish or anything it's just plants literally a garden <laughs> so there's just a little waterfall there <laughs> Me when I think of headhunters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful here. So we're at Sydney Fish Market right now and just got 12 dozen Sydney Pacific oysters and some kingfish and salmon sashimi. Oh. And we're just having some wine as well, which was leftover from yesterday. Yum. 
look who we yeah. have here. <laughs> so we are just at a friend's house now in Chippendale. Me and Yon just had lunch before at the Sydney Fish Market and then we headed here just because we had a little bit of time to kill before our dinner plans tonight at Cream Barbecue. I'm just chilling with my sister and Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> yeah, they're both shy. This house is like three levels and there's like a whole bunch of people downstairs as well. I think everyone's just like chilling out. <laughs> Ow! Oh, you oh. fuck face! <laughs> she was just recording me the bitch. Stop it, you're zooming in. <laughs> I love One Piece. <laughs> hey Andrew! <laughs> Don't be in my vlog! Um, I think Ewan's in there. Okay, okay. Okay. Hi! So we're gonna leave this place in about 10 to 15 minutes and meet up with our other Sydney friend. And then our flight tonight is at 10 o'clock. <laughs> so we're at Green Barbecue right now. We're at Jenkins Bar. With Ben, Ben and Kev. And we're just chilling. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm actually vlogging. At, at the photo booth, Sydney. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, my name's John. <laughs> We're at Sydney Airport right now. I'm with Yuan. But yeah, we're just about to board our flight back to Melbourne. And we just had like the best dinner at um, Jang Tabal in Strathfield, which is like a Korean barbecue place. It was so nice. Kevin and Ben came out with us. We had some bottles of soju, so we're like a little bit lit right now. But all in all, this was such a good Sydney trip. Like this is hands down probably like the best Sydney trip I've ever had. Thanks to the company I had. The Beat Sydney Insert promotion. Plug. Insert plug here. If you guys ever need a photo booth, hit up the Beat Sydney. Kev's your boy. We're gonna go back to cloudy, sad Melbourne. Also at Val, Tao, Lana, Lily, you guys missed out so hard because this was legit the best trip and the best rave we've been to. The best. But we miss you and love you. <laughs> so yeah. Natural disasters, my baby is